Hey guys, so this is a little guide for Mech Armada. We're going to talk about how a successful run should look, starting with the early game and finishing with the bosses. First of all, you're going to lose when you're first starting out, not necessarily because you don't know the game properly, but because the progression system is similar to that of Hades. You unlock more and more permanent bonuses and parts just by playing the game. The RNG can also help you, or not. Now click on settings and choose animation speed times 3, more time playing and less time watching the animations. So let's talk a bit about the early game. The two mechs that you're starting with are very weak, don't even think about upgrading them. Instead focus on building others more powerful. Keep one low cost mech around though, and use it as bait. Why? Well let me give you a small tip. Monsters will always prioritize the least powerful mech. Another thing that you should be doing is stalling for energy whenever possible to be able to spawn high cost mechs. Or you can use that surplus of energy for trading as well. Talking about high cost mechs, Careful, energy is capped at 20. If your mech costs 21, you cannot spawn it. You will not have problems with the energy cap though, unless you want to create the same mech twice or use the best weapons in the game twice. The cost is however reasonable if you want to use the same transport or the same body part twice, so you can stack up the bonuses. Which leads me to another thing, place your mechs accordingly. That one that gives bonuses to others, place it in the middle. The one that has a boost on roads, place it accordingly before going to battle. Now let me tell you what you should be looking for in the early game. In my opinion you should go for body parts, then weapons and then transport parts. Why body parts? Well these parts can make or break a run. You should be looking for eagle eye, commando, mechanic. These give strong bonuses to multiple mechs in a small radius. Chain reaction and gambler work well as well. For example gambler with the sniper, that way you don't have to upgrade the sniper to guarantee 10 damage. Or alternatively chain reaction with mega missile pod. You also have engineer with damage tile effect. Synergy is very very important in this game. Mid game you should start to upgrade your weapons because you're going to face tougher and faster and also more annoying enemies. If there is a choke point on the map you should always take advantage of it. Keep in mind that in the first half of a run the monsters will come towards your mechs. In the other half you will have to go towards them to kill them. Here is also where you should start to take advantage of the undo option and just try out different strategies. Now when it comes to bosses generally you want to kill them first because they either deal high damage or they call for reinforcements. There is no room really for strategies here because the map is not big enough. Early and mid game you should go to the middle of the map and start shooting at them. When they get close to you, just slowly retreat but keep shooting at them. The last two bosses you'll probably have to make some sacrifices, this is why you should keep a low cost maker's bait. You could also use mines against them and just keep your distance, especially against the spider queen. After you defeat a boss you'll be presented with some expansions. I'm not sure if I encountered them all, but from my experience pristine is the best one. Well that was it guys, the game is quite small at the moment, I'll probably come back when the dev adds more stuff. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.